What up, what up, what up, everybody? Welcome to Watch Them Thrones. What up, people? As always, it's your boy TK and the rest of these niggas, and we about to get it in. <laughs> hey, Good Kayla, evening to all the sweet summer children. Tell that boy, Kayla, we need a season two theme music. I'm, I'm ready to bop for something else in this bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, uh, I do need it. You know, I can sing TK's here. song again. Oh, God, I'm with that shit, too. Hey, listen, 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 listen. I still we be singing that we, shit in my head. We not, <laughs> we not starting season two off with no Negro spirituals. <laughs> Listen, I don't. Woo. If I wanted to hear the mighty clouds of joy, I go to my mama's oh, house. <laughs> Boy, you stupid. <laughs> so uh. we are uh, we we here. Shit, hey. Not only are we here, Queen Mother is here on the same time as us. So give it up. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> Queen Mother moving in real time in this bitch. Right. Ain't no delay, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. That's fine. Uh, I'll take my licks. My girl in high definition over there, too. I see you, girl. Yeah. Yeah. Girl in goddamn 4K, 8K, 6K. <laughs> I'm proud of her. So, uh oh, somebody. No, I was tuning into um um YouTube and I had my volume up, but it's it's down now. Oh okay, okay, it's all good. Oh, you on time, time. Look at your YouTube and shit, even on time. <laughs> Stop. We got we got some. I'm done. Done. I'm 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 acting like your brother Leslie. <laughs> we got some of the, the 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 normal gang in the in the comments. Mm -hmm. Everybody's coming in. Well, I see a lot of <laughs> different icons: YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, or it. X. It guy fixed the definition. Mm. Mm. Oh wow! Wow! Already, already. But it. Hey, I, I think I think we should bring IT guy on for everybody to meet him. He yeah. said he, he be watching. He said he's gonna come in the comments. He gonna pop up in the comments. <laughs> I think he should. So, uh, where we at this week? We are we are on season one of of course the only season episode number three. Second of his name. This was a fire ass episode. It was. It it was, man. Um and you know, it, it's something about this first rewatch, man. That's I, I seen, you know, seen a little different than when we originally saw it. I also read the book since we um did the first go round, so everything feels a little different for me. Mm -hmm. Not not to mention, you know, we had Leno himself uh come on and actually you know we started off the episode discussing uh him riding the dragon so we'll, we'll get into all of that Crazy. but uh so kicking kicking everything off hey that opening scene was fun as fuck dog <laughs> like you know <laughs> it started off we see people getting ate 
eaten by by the crabs and shit. Um, and he he putting spikes through people's hands and shit. And Some gruesome all of a sudden, shit. Yeah, it's, he, it's, yeah, he's serious business. Hey, that that boy meant business. And and seeing how ruthless he was in the this episode in the previous episode. I was disappointed how he went out, but but we'll we'll get to that too. <clears throat> but uh, you know, oh boy, like he see the dragon and shit. He like, yes, my prince, my prince. <laughs> hey, he was like like uh, Digimon, give us free. <laughs> Smash that nigga. <laughs> Smash that nigga like a bug. That boy got stomped out faster than Chris Brown did Quavo. Smash. Not, not breathe, not see breathing. Ooh, Listen. speaking of breathing, fire that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Fly, spit fire. That boy said he a dragon out this bitch. I got yeah, I that got shit that was funny. Fire. Fucked up. That nigga just knew he was about to be saved. He like, hell yeah, damn, pull up on these fuck niggas, boom. <laughs> and hey, all I can say about that is at least he went quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was just hilarious, dog. Cause like you said, my boy was like, "My prince, hell yeah, yeah. your prince took you up out of there, my boy." Man, don't even, don't even know you down there, buddy. He used <laughs> you as a landing strip. <laughs> oh my god, hey. that that was hilarious. Look, look hey. at the comments. He got killed by a flying nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Oh, man. Body by singing it. Oh, Goddamn. Man. Listen, we got R.I.P. <laughs> in the comments. That's crazy. <laughs> That's wow. But uh, so we 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 move away from from the stepstones, and uh, oh, we, we hold on. We got we got one of our we got a, a guest with us. Uh, before we get into it, uh, nigga, you late? Let me just start with that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> but uh we got a special guest this is my my boy uh jarius the unapologetic geek uh from what's the name of the channel now you geek tv now oh he's talking about man me. i'm acting like i'm on the damn conference call at work or some shit. <laughs> yes that is correct you geek tv on youtube so like you know uh you know, he, he kind of, you know, in the lane with us, black shit, you know, anime, cartoons, you know, all type of shit, movies, TVs, you know, he's one of the, the go-tos for, for reviews on all that shit. So make sure you look my boy up, uh, Unapologetic Geek on Facebook and You Geek TV on uh, YouTube. Did we just yeah. become best friends? Possibly. We'll see about the end of the show. <laughs> If somebody put it in the comments, we'll get it pinned. Yeah. Say it one more time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My voice is jacked up today. No, you good. If somebody can pin it, if somebody can put it in the comments, we'll get it pinned. Yeah, I'd appreciate it. Make it on through that, baby. Make it on through that. (laughs) Hey. Here he comes. This nigga. Hey, her, her, voice, her voice sound like the engine on the 82 Cutlass. Oh, come on. Here we go. Don't be like that. Here, here, oh, he's like that all the time. It don't matter. <laughs> oh, I know he always had a pocket. I can say that I missed the discussion about that dragon stepping on old dude who was like praying to the heavens for his son. Oh, man, get in, yeah, get in there on that. Die. When I saw that, because he sent me the notes earlier, and I just played the episode later on today and I watched it and then I forgot completely about that. Like I've seen the season before, but when that came on, it came up, I bust out laughing, man. Like I was drinking water at the time. So I didn't expect it to go that way. And so thanks. Shout out to a real nigga. My nigga. How y'all brothers doing, nigga. man? Foolish ass <laughs> nigga right here. And I'm happy to see you, nigga. It's been a while. That nigga I say, out, my, my nigga Jaden made it to the pod. God damn, boy. Hey, hey. These niggas up here hand clapping and shit like Nettie and Seeley. Relax. Hey, nigga. Like, like, but you know what though? The only thing that's missing is TK's beard. That's it. 
Woo! I swear to God, if I was there, I'd snatch that Steve Harvey rug off your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you you choose you choose evil every week, man. I don't choose nothing, man. I'm just Let, I'm just. I'm lost. not. Listen, Leslie Whitlock, I'm not doing it. This no. Week. Evil chooses him. Evil chooses him. But Leslie Whitlock, though. Let, let you my niggas, boy, you my niggas boy are uncouth. <laughs> I got your ass. I got your Whitlock, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> let's get let's get back into it. Uh so we start the thing off. We're on uh this is the first major time jump. Three years, almost three years. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh we, we kick things off with A Gun's second name day. And Leslie and them people, them them high towers, they scheming early. Early and often. Early and motherfucking often. My name uh, <laughs> you know, you got you got Tyler Lannister, my boy trying his best to put Viserys on, on game about what's going on in the Stepstones, and he really don't give a fuck. My nigga <laughs> he don't give a fuck about none of this shit he was talking about. None of it. He trying to eat and shit. My boy like, hey, nigga, it's my baby birthday. You know, my baby mama pregnant. You over here talking about it. Fighting this shit by Damon and the other fuck nigga. I don't want to hit. Yep. I'm trying to kick it. As a man who's always getting hit up to handle important shit on his days off, I felt I felt him in this episode, man. Like, don't talk to me about this shit. I'm trying to enjoy my kid, and y'all talking about bills and shit, man. <laughs> Wars and shit. Ain't nobody got time for that. I felt him on that for real. Even though I really think he a weak ass nigga, I did understand him on that shit. Yeah, he definitely weak. <laughs> that, that, that no, argument, no argument. The problem mm. with him is he would be like that at any point during the day. He would. Like he was so he's so scary. I just I didn't I never liked that about him, but today I felt him on this shit. Yeah. They could be in the small council, he'd be like, I don't want to worry about that. <laughs> Nigga. I'm like, do I would you say Liz Cersei? I can't fucking understand you. I don't know what you're talking about right now. I'm not, oh, I'm not doing this with you. I don't know what you're talking about. Right? I'm not. I gotta, I, gotta be, I gotta be completely honest. Hey, hey, hey Lit Thirsty, you. give him the hand signal. <laughs> I'm really trying to resist. Her goddamn vocal cords working like the Ritz do, nigga. nigga. Uh, overtime. I know you ain't working tomorrow. Pay me. Absolutely. Oh, no, nah, man. No, no, no conference calls, at least. That's all. I have clients. I don't have. Show. Yeah, we're gonna right. Don't nothing take me down. I'm good. <laughs> Man, so for IT guy. Oh shit. Here we go. Hey, she said that shit with the utmost confidence. Don't nobody, don't nothing take me down. As soon as IT guy pull up, she'll leave us on red on, 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 on the screen. Walk off. I'm going up you. <laughs> Damn, you sound like a goddamn pack of menthols. <laughs> <laughs> and, and to be specific, Newport's baby. <laughs> right. <laughs> sound, sound like a pack of Newport 100s, nigga. One hundred. Hey, she, she definitely, in, in about 10 minutes, she gonna be like like the old lady in the hood. I first started smoking. <laughs> Damn. Oh, shit, TK. Oh, or or like that non-smoking hey. commercial where you got that hole in the neck. I hate to do commercial. Let, let me reach over here for my knife. I think I'm gonna need it tonight. <laughs> you will. I started smoking in 1996, and I haven't come commercial. It's like no, bitch. You started smoking after we found out that shit. <laughs> exactly. Don't come to me about your fucking commercials. I don't give a fuck. Started <laughs> your smoking, she started smoking at three months old. <sighs> your choice, motherfucker. Your choice. Shit, give me that shit. I can see if you started smoking like in 1935 or some shit, and it's like, all right, you know. I'm pretty sure she did. You know, no, I'm just saying the newer ones they they've been smoking after everybody already knew about. Like, nah, man, you already knew and you still did that shit, bitch. Yeah, right, That's exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. If you start hey. smoking after after we knew that it was cancer sticks, then hey, you 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 hookah niggas next. 
y'all next. So uh, <clears throat> we we leave the the first second scene and we find ourselves uh, get your insurance policies now. <laughs> we got Rhaenyra. She's under the tree. She reading and she got Samwell on repeat playing the song. <laughs> What's the road what to the a, repeat? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you know, th- this would have been a perfect scene for Celestial, you know, her because uh, you know, she she out there, she keep telling old boy play it again. My nigga like, damn bitch, you, you know, I know other songs if you like. Nah, and she like, she nah, was... nah, keep going. So Allison pulls up on him and uh he, he old boy stopped playing and stood up and Renier like, hey nigga, ain't nobody telling you to stop playing. <laughs> what the fuck you doing? <laughs> and uh <laughs> Uh, Allison was like, you know, hey, you you can leave. Right. And she was like, hey, nigga, the princess didn't tell you to leave. She's like, bitch, but the queen did. My boy, <laughs> my boy, like Steve Harvey on uh, Kings of Comedy, he started snatching them cords out, wrapping that shit up, getting the fuck up out of there. <laughs> she was so happy too, man. Like he was ready to go after he played that shit for the tenth time. <laughs> He was so stressed that his hands was hurting and shit. Hey, he was sick of her shit. But it, any anything, I'm, I'm gonna go to you, Queen Mother. Anything about that conversation struck you any type of way? Well, it it was a power struggle of sorts, obviously, because Rhaenyra being who she is, the heir apparent, and Allison. Allison had to flex on her. Allison had to say, the queen dismisses you. And he was like, and, you know, left to set. Um, and and then she's trying to, you know, please Allison, always being a pleaser, trying to please Viserys. Viserys wants everybody to go to to the woods uh, on, to, for the hunt, all, you know, ride in the carriage together. And Allison again has to make it a command from the queen. Mm. And so Rhaenyra is just, she's just being obstinate. She's being a petulant child. I mean, she's 17 years old. Technically that ain't an adult yet, but in these times she should be, you know, looking for a husband or, or having proposals, going through proposals. And, you know, that's just not what's on her mind. She ain't interested. She don't want it. It's like, ugh, not another motherfucker. Oh, please to go away. So she's 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 just giving attitude. Let let me just say they them people definitely live by the old enough to read, you old enough. You, never mind. So uh, <laughs> come on, man. Stop <laughs> it. Oh, oh no, it's gonna get worse. Trust me. This shit is gonna go flying off the cliff like the Thelma and Louise car. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. But that you know, to, to your Louise. point though, Queen Mother, that was like the first power struggle we see, you know, with them. As as small as it was, that was the first and and, and the first of many. Uh right. you know, first of many. Yep. So one thing I like to point out is Allison is still <laughs> You laugh. I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't laugh. I didn't say anything. Allison is still. Fuck you. Allison is still. Um, it, she has empathy for Rainera. So even though she's being a queen yeah. and she's actually doing quite well, y'all really get on my nerves. Um, she's still. Do y'all have like this sudden need to clear your throat? Like. <laughs> Just no, I'm trying. I've been clearing it all day. Uh-oh. I've taken all my medicine. I've done my breathing. <laughs> right, right. That's what you need. You, but you need some of that fire water. It'll clear that shit right up. <laughs> uh, look, let Cersei. I'm brewing some some cherry bounce. It'll be ready by June. Okay, <laughs> I'm ready. Cherry. Go into the comments. Goodbye. <laughs> she ain't got nan liquor license. <laughs> It's just a little home brew. 
This nigga out here bootlegging and shipping across state lines. God. We going to jail. It's all good. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Hypothetically, uh, hypothetically, hypothetically. Yes, I mean, yes. Allegedly. 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 <laughs> All right, so we leave we leave that scene, and we find ourselves at the King's Wood. Uh, so you can sound like Morgan Freeman. They yeah, all, I'm trying to like, what are you going for here, Morgan Freeman, James Earl Jones, nigga? What's up? They all they all clapping. <laughs> I was just trying to leave this lady alone. I I didn't want her to feel alone, bro. You are not alone. I am here with you. Mm. No, we will not talk about Michael today. You are very unviserious. I'm just trying to help, man. I I do remember the time when your voice didn't sound like this. Right. (laughs) Man. I mean, but you know what, though? It's just like. It's just like TK's genetics said to his hair follicles. You got to beat it. Ooh, ooh. Mm. Boy, it's, it is human nature for you to act like that. Damn, yeah, baby. It is. it is. It is. Now that was bad. <laughs> it was. It was. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Are we but, sure you know, that Leslie doesn't have a Steve Harvey unit? Listen, I'm I'm not going to stoop that to, to his level. My shit is real. Okay. You know, I know, I know, you know, he he, he be all right. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm a changed man. It's above me. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's above me now. Okay. It's above me now. So, you know, they at the Kingswood, and uh, this is where we first see Littlefoot. <laughs> my boy, like, I can't <laughs> go hunt. <laughs> I, I can't go hunt. <laughs> I did everything I could not to lay when he was living through that damn room, man. But why he showed off like it was a badge of honor? I can go hunt y'all. <laughs> why did they zoom in on that big ass boot though? <laughs> his shit was so out of I mean, hey. he was so pity. Hey, his shit, his, his boot thicker than the Instagram model. <laughs> that nigga walk on his ankle, like his shit all the way he sideways. Does. Like the the sole of this nigga's foot turns like. That way, and this, yes. nigga walks, this nigga walks on his fucking ankles. Like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> and then all his head head is looking at him like, man, what the fuck, this nigga going? Yeah, you get that fucking ass foot out of here, boy. <laughs> <laughs> and even then, if you can't, it's fine. You can't hunt. Why you just couldn't go run to the women? Like, you didn't. That's how you know he messes it for. No, yeah, like he wanted to win an ass right. Uh, he can't even he, start he talking. He could have sat his ass right outside with everybody else. He's he sitting yeah. shit outside. And nigga still like, hello, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> well, what y'all got going on in here? <laughs> what y'all got going on? <laughs> Head ass. <laughs> <laughs> so but but, but you know. Saw that motherfucker off. They could have made him a golden off, foot. Man. Hey, hey, that nigga walk around foot? with his fucking foot like uh of misery when she clubbed that nigga feet. Yeah. Oh my god. Bah. Bah. That's but, how his fucking foot looks. So let me ask y'all this. I mean we 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 know what he what he is, what he becomes or whatnot. Like did y'all always, you know, when you first saw him, you didn't think nothing about this nigga. I know I did. Nah, nah, not at all. And they played up that way no. No, because he was slinking around a little bit too much. He slide over here. Ladies, can I sit with you? Yeah. Well, I what are the ladies doing? So by placing himself in where the gossip is going on, because that's all the ladies were doing. You listening? Was gossiping. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's so he's getting all this information, and then he goes and you know sits by his brother or his father or whatever, and here's what the men are talking about, and gets that information. So that makes him, you know, very well informed on both sides of the fence. He yeah, did no, initially right. give that damn various vibes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And if you read the books, you know, I mean, or the book before, you know, all this shit, happened, you already knew what he was about. Facts. Um, right. Yeah. So, yeah. So it's kind of hard for me to separate the two. Like, you know, I. You know, because as soon as he walked in, you you already knew what he was. Fucking. Yeah, but and I, I think even without without being like a book reader, like the optic of him 
going in there and sitting with the lady. Like Queen Mother said, that was completely intentional by the, by the show writers. So like mm-hmm. for him to go in there and say, oh, hey, I ain't no good at fucking war. Can I sit with y'all? Mm-hmm. That was their way of introducing him yeah. as this is a messy ass nigga. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then him kind of downplaying himself, right? Like, oh, yeah. I'm completely yeah, I'm nobody. I'm no yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't mind me. Exactly. It's fucking exactly. Don't mind me, y'all. I'm just here. I'm yeah. just like, this is a piece of furniture. Say what you want to say. Yeah. All this to, shit to, the whole fucking time. Exactly. To your point, Leslie, like you said, if you read the book, you knew, you know. And and like now that I you know read all the books and whatnot, as soon as he came on the screen, I was like, this nigga. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fuck nigga, right? When, yeah. when him and Harwin and, and, and Lionel was first walking up, when they made it to the Kingswood with that club ass foot, that's the problem. I'm like, look at this old fucking crooked foot ass nigga. <laughs> 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 oh, tangled foot ass. This nigga slowing everybody the fuck down. It's a line of niggas behind him. Man, get your fucking ass out the way. Hey, man, why this nigga foot got you so mad, dog? He <laughs> <I'm> was so <laughs> upset. Hey, hey, you was like this on, on the first time we did. It's like, God damn, what? Why does hey, nigga mad at this fuck? Keep hey, God man. in your life, fuck nigga. Exactly. <laughs> I love you, boy. Keep doing what you do. Keep God in your life. Fuck oh, my God. So, uh, <laughs> so, so after <laughs> we see, after there you we go, see Emily. Exactly. No foot, Lil Feet's engaging in girl talk. It switches over to to this nigga got to be the, this nigga the wackiest Lannister I, I've seen. He yeah, wacking in Lancel. He's not even close. Uh, Man. J- Jason oh, Lannister, Jason. He, he's shooting this shot. Man. And he been creepy as fuck with it too. And I, I didn't notice it the first go around, but like, you know, when she turned around, he's standing at it and shit. Like, this yeah, nigga like definitely this was shit. some, some Arquette and shit. Yeah. Uh, but he, you know, he he shooting his shot, and she blew his ass off fast as fuck. Yeah, well, I have I the best wood. Oh, we have the best woods. Oh, I'm gonna give him credit on one line though, and he let her know immediately he was tricking off when he said he would like build that stable for the dragon. I'm like, okay, if you gonna sell it, then sell it right, and he did <laughs> sell it right. But outside of that, he a wack ass nigga. Hey, nigga, say I ain't got no dragon pit, but shit, I can show a business. Shit, baby, I got you. <laughs> he was talking to me. The goddamn Renair was like, what the fuck you need to build one right. for? Me? <laughs> Where your dragons at, nigga? Right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, she I mean, damn sure. What the fuck you need that for? Yeah, she looking around like, I know where y'all got niggas in my dragon. They just handing them out nowadays, huh? Man, Jason, like, Jason my... Lannister is like fucking Tyrion without the fucking. <laughs> I the can't. intelligence and goddamn <laughs> yeah. Jamie without the fight skills merged into one nigga. <laughs> yeah. It's like Very the weaknesses of both brothers. Yeah, the weaknesses of Tyrion and Jamie merged into one nigga. That's Jason Lannister. <laughs> I think Rhaenyra said that, or was it Viserys? One, when they were talking about Jason Lannister, his arrogance has arrogance. Fact. That's a yeah. lot. That yeah, a, that was that was Viserys, uh, Viserys that was, talking to yeah. uh, Lionel. Yeah, but you know what? Though? But, but to Viserys, Viserys credit, right? To Viserys credit, not Viserys, not not Viserys. To Viserys credit, Rhaenyra left him no fucking choice. This That's motherfucker true. is like ignoring one of the most important duties of a person in her right. station, and she's being completely irresponsible. Right. Now, I mean, as much as we want to fucking, you know, clown this nigga and all that shit like that, like the serious, he's trying the best he fucking can. Motherfucker won't even talk to him, won't even, and then outright said that she doesn't want to get married. Bitch, you're about to be, you're you're supposed to be queen, like queen, queen. Mm-hmm. And you don't want to get married? It, and that you're just shows and you're you the type of irresponsibility. That just shows you in this realm of, of shit, we're going to see later on just about how irresponsible she is as far as her relationships through the years but you know this is just another uh, uh point to where you know i mean you have to kind of question her judgment when yep. she does shit like this i mean this was step one it was it was step one in the whole direction where this whole shit is fucking going of, yep. of Ramira, like you just said making questionable decisions regarding her station relationships alliances all that shit and she really just pissing in the wind based on 
well, my mother died two years ago. You married my best friend. Now she's pregnant and you're trying to replace me. So I'm just, she, she basically been pounding for the last two years. Right. I, oh, yeah. Um, why do you think Viserys, shut up, TK. Why do you think Viserys is okay with giving her a choice as to who she marries? Because he did. I think that was his way, like with, with all the resistance that she is given and the fact that he, I think he, I think there's a guilt for him feeling like a lot of her resistance comes from the fact that he married Allison. So yep. I think him trying to fucking mend that, that burn bridge or whatever, he's like, okay, well, you got to get married. So Pete Gang, yep. you, you pick, you pick who yep. you want. I, I won't yep. pick you fucking, you know, I won't betroth you to anybody. You pick who you got to get fucking married. You pick it. Yep. So I, outside of the context of the show, this may sound fucked up. But within it, it just it's another example of him being a weak king. Like if he had any kind of strength, he just would have told her what she was gonna do. He wouldn't have given her a choice. And although it's nice of him to do that, it's another example of him just being really passive uh -huh. when it comes to, to actually ruling himself. And it's him being a weak king, thinking that he's being a good father and in actuality, right. like really being a exactly. shit father as well. Like you're being right. a good father. Yeah. You're, being you're, shit father. Neglecting, you're neglecting your duty as king and as a father all in all in go. one with this shit. There you go. There you go. And honestly, hey, the ground he, comes first. You gotta right. do it. it you're the king, my boy. Yeah, you're you're king, my boy. You just ain't right. yeah, you just you just ain't somebody like fucking daddy. You know, just you the you the I, king, my boy. Just, he he just tried worse, real. you know, in that in that scene. Like he he dressed her down in front of everybody, loud as fuck. Mm -hmm. You know, he was like, uh, what do you say? Even I do, even I do not exist above tradition and duty. Mm -hmm. Right. And in response, she was like, "Man, fuck you!" And and did. Yeah. Yeah. He hopped yeah. on the Got horse and just rolled out. And he horse. let her. He's the king, and he let her. Yeah, and then was just like lollygagging all night long. Like this bitch been gone all day and night. The air, <laughs> the, the air. air, and nobody's going out looking for him except for one person. It would have been he's, a whole fucking flight of people going out chasing that. After. He's just worried about right. that white stag, which is right. also yeah. stupid. Oh, he's he, he, well, are we going to get to that later? Yeah, we yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got it. Yeah, so so that 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 one part really fucked me up because again, he talking about tradition and duty, yada yada yada. Like you said, Leslie, this is his fucking heir, uh, supposedly, and mm -hmm. she she ride off and oh, nobody goes after her, like nobody yeah. goes, you know they supposed to be tearing them goddamn woods up, you know. Right, right. My boy said, "Fuck, pour me another drink." Fuck right. Me. I mean, like a white girl going missing in the woods. That's I mean, that's usually shit. <laughs> They were supposed to be after her like Ramsey did to be looking for Dion. <laughs> right. That's how they were supposed to ride up on her. And I think that Woo! plays more into how everybody is so focused on the little brother now. Which, yeah. again, like it's you all's duty to protect any of the heirs, not just this one. But it, the, it's like everybody is following the serious lead, even if they're not consciously doing it. Except hey, for she, one or two people. She did tell him in the beginning of the episode, ain't nobody coming to see me, Otis. They're not here for me. <laughs> no, no one yeah. is here for me. Yeah. Like, she, she, she told right. him that shit. <laughs> and she was right. Mm -hmm. She was right. But she ain't doing herself no fucking favors, though. Exactly. I mean, shit. Yeah. She's walking around here all fucking bitter and shit, asking, asking the nigga to, to be on repeat, like fucking, like he's Spotify. Like, Acting like an ass to Allison. This ain't even Allison real fault. This is all the work of of Otto and fucking Viserys is the one who chose him. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like I mean, you know. What guy? So. All right. So so she Man she up, dip out. Up, shit. Uh, and and Sir Crispy follow her. And they they chopping it up. You know. Uh, and 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 you know this this nigga had had everybody fool who who didn't know any better. He seemed like a nice wholesome nigga. He whole time he he shit he he is trash. Uh, but you know he was like I remember this time when it was original out. I was telling niggas, niggas was like, nah, nigga, Christian, nigga. Like, what you about, man? I was like, all right, niggas. <laughs> and and, and, and the, the worst is yet to come with this nigga too. 
Shit. I mean, like motherfuckers hated Damon and, and love this motherfucker. Man, two, to two be f- episodes in. They love Cole. Hey, to be fair though, uh Damon was the police beating up on innocent niggas. So I mean, you know. <laughs> within the context of this show, again, Damon had to show them niggas. I'm, uh, I'm just saying. I mean, gold cloaks, lives matter too. Yes. <laughs> hey, that shit hurt for you to say that, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't even get it out smooth. <laughs> oh my god! I guess. <laughs> nigga, shit, shit! I said it. I said it. <laughs> hey, his 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 voice was straining like little searches to get that out. You know what? And I can't wait to get to this fucking divorce rock shit. Oh, I'm a fucking oh yeah. Fucking on all y'all motherfuckers. On Whatever. But, but let's continue. That's that's laid off. So <clears throat> back in the woods, and uh you you got you got Leslie's favorite favorite person, Plato. He's scheming as usual. I don't know uh, what he said. I mean, like what he, he said. So so basically he's he's telling us he he's he's slick trying to Jedi mind fuck uh Viserys about you know the God showing favor. Um you white know, stag. We, we, the white stag and all this other shit, mm-hmm. and he 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 slick trying to tell him like you know you got a son this and that, uh so ain't this the know, part though where he basically proposed to betroth them to each other? Yes. Yeah. yeah. To me that was the best. That to me that was the best fucking solution out of like. Thank- for the tri- yeah, for the my nigga, man. That's that's but, why I fucks with this nigga, man. That's why I fucks with this nigga. That nigga I, threw the pick. Hey man, get the pick. Oh, <laughs> you, you sound like Diddy. Hey, bro, for, for, every, for everything that's transpiring and for the traditions of the, Tar- of the Targaryens household. Who's been incesting for centuries. Now all of a sudden y'all motherfuckers got a problem. You've named your you've named your your, older, <laughs> your, your first and your older daughter the heir. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. And Eva Otto was like, I bet you named her the heir. Cool, I get it. That's your daughter. You want to ride with your daughter? I love my daughter too, King. But peep this. You got a son too. Y'all some Targaryen ass niggas. Y'all be on some nasty shit anyway, so you might as well just go on and... <laughs> and he had like, he had like Otto was speaking Spanish. So... And at least they got <laughs> their mamas. They got their mamas, so there's a lower chance of madness. How many lives would have been saved if this would have happened? How many lives, I mean, would the Targaryens still not have their dragons for centuries to come? Oh, yeah. Man. If they did that. Wouldn't have had this whole entire war. Exactly. Yeah, it was, it was the best option in terms of consolidation of power. I, it, I mean, it probably would have made more sense if the nigga one too. But Sarah's like, nigga, he too. Yeah, he didn't pick the right time to suggest it. I will agree on that. Like, uh, I, I guess I, I what other it. time would you suggest? This it? is medieval times, it. nigga. They did this shit. They wasn't gonna. They wasn't gonna. They wasn't gonna, they wasn't gonna get married. Like, they, yeah, they won't get married right, right away. Right. It was a betrothal. Like when he is of age. This is right. Of trial. course. Like yeah. Lena said, I won't have to bed you till I'm fourteen. Exactly. She was twelve. <laughs> and, and back in them days, that shit would have been normal. Hey man, you won't have to fuck your old ass sister until you're 14, bro. Yep. And you and your fucking 30s or whatever, 30. I mean, but it doesn't matter. It's not about these motherfuckers. It's about it's about continuing the Targaryen tradition and making them yeah. just as strong as they because this whole civil war completely changed the game for the Targaryens. And really, this was the beginning of the end. Hey, I disagree, Eric Justin, Eric, the comment. I don't, think, I don't think it was about the age difference. I just think it was about Viserys being too stubborn exactly. to even engage in the politics of it. He didn't want to hear yeah. that shit no more. He made a decision that Rhaenyra was heir. He didn't want to hear none of the shit about the son that he fucking made being the heir. Like, nigga, you went and got married again. You went and made another heir, which you knew if you had a son, people were going to try to project him to the heir over Rhaenyra. Like, you did this. Mm-hmm. So you have to be willing to, at the fucking bare minimum, engage in this conversation. He didn't even want to hear that shit. All he wanted yeah. was another fucking drink. Yeah, he was tired of the politics. I yeah, agree. he didn't want to hear it that wasn't, shit. Yeah, it wasn't the suggestion. It was just he was just over that shit. Yeah, he didn't want to hear yep. none of that shit. Yeah. Yep. So, so this it was at this scene or in in this episode that it was very noticeable that uh, Viserys 
started really getting deep in the cups. I mean, it, that cup stayed out like pour some more, pour some more, pour some more. Fact. I mean, good lord, are uh, you gonna have a liver left? Because you and know, at you this point, had, had, uh, had, had Jason Lannister already come to Viserys at this point as well. So, like, so we was actually we we yeah. actually right there. Okay. We right at the point where where Viserys, uh, back inside getting drunk as fuck, he pouring up till he get tore up, uh, and and Jason come with the little little sp- uh, stick and shit, uh, and I had this made in the goat gallery, <laughs> head ass. Bro, that nigga so, <laughs> that nigga so annoying, dog. Like, <laughs> that get that damn cock out of your mouth, dog. No diddy, like damn. <laughs> God damn, boy. There's a lot of Diddy in that statement. I'm sorry. Woo. <laughs> he was Diddy. He was Diddy. No. Diddy. Dog, he, I, he, that nigga's horrible. Like, shit. But, uh, you know, he, he, ske- he said the scheme before Rhaenyra, you know, <laughs> and if a series, this is part we was, t- I think, Jars, you brought it up about the dragons and shit. Him and a series talking. But he he let it slip though. He let it slip that that folks been talking. Niggas shit. been talking. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. You know, I, I think if a series wasn't a weak ass nigga, he 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 would have should have got him slapped the shit out of. Him. Like but here we are, and he is a weak ass nigga. That's the thing, man. Yep. Nobody nobody talk about a king that'll fuck you up. Right. And yeah. he had too many leaks, man. He had too many leaks in his building. And nobody respected him. His brother didn't respect him. His daughter didn't respect him. His wife barely respected him. Like it, it was. It, it never was gonna work out for the series. Yeah. Plus, one of his fingers could have fell off if he slipped. And you know what? And just going back to the age, I hate to keep going back, but it, the age, yes, it's about Renee producing heirs, but it's also about the fact that Aegon would have served as an insurance policy. Okay, so Correct. so what if Renair dies at fucking twenty? They don't produce an heir. Well, now you got yeah, your yeah, fucking heir yeah. Aegon, yeah. right? Now you got your heir Aegon. So Aegon is not only it, the king and queen relationship works in that situation because of the fact that it was stop the civil war, but he would have been viewed as an insurance policy. He's like that's man. all it is because he would have been the quote unquote other heir. So you know, right? It, it's just not about the age difference. Like I don't I don't think that factored in. <laughs> So so yeah, I mean yeah, you know they would have had a built-in air and a spare. Yeah, like I, I get that, I, right? But both of them would have been air and spare technically. In yeah, a sense. Yeah. That's true too. Yeah. But then yeah. we wouldn't have a story, so can right. I, you know, got it. We had to do it that way. That part. And to Emily's point, he's already the other there. Great. So that's still. I mean, like we're still like talking about the same shit. The age doesn't matter. If Renair can't produce a, another heir, cool. Then we got Aegon, who's who's going to be there, and he'll be alive. Who can produce? Right. Who can marry some somebody else and produce an heir? And they're working together, and they're not scheming against each other as brother right. and sister. Right. And, and then he has another kid on the way. Right. <laughs> yeah that that nigga was busy, man. Yeah, that nigga was busy. That, that nigga was fucking. <laughs> God, like my boy got him a young thing. He said, "Shit, it's time to go to work." Yeah, <laughs> ain't got much long. Ain't got much long to wish y'all niggas. <laughs> Man, as well. Man, my way well get these off. So, <laughs> as someone, as someone who didn't read the books, is it correct to assume that he is the weak link of the Targaryen blood? Mm, no, who, I, who, I, that's, that's, that's like, a very like, direct assumption. Now there was there were other. But he he directly like caused this fucking I don't even know if this is the right word this chasm and this fucking gap he caused that mm-hmm. shit directly like yep. his actions whether intentional or unintentional he did this shit yes for lack thereof yeah, yeah like so. I, you had Mago's I forget Mago's other brother he was weak as fuck but he didn't really last long so yeah you know this, this nigga's the weakest because he has you know. A bunch of time in, in, in the seat and a bunch yeah, of sweat. May, Mago, Mago's brother didn't lead to like the literal direct downfall of House Targaryen, like mm-hmm. Viserys did. Like Viserys's actions led to the literal downfall of his house. No. Um, it, it the shit started there. Like whether you like motherfuckers say Rhaenyra or Allison and Aegon the second, you know, mm-hmm. the shit started with Viserys. When you don't have your dragons, your power is just that's it. This is the downfall of the dragons. 
And the fact that he didn't ride a dragon, that that really made him. That's some weak shit, too. God damn, bro. Like, how could you be a Targaryen and not ride a dragon? I mean. The nigga had Valerian and never chose another dragon again. I'd have went and went to Bermithor after that. Give me the next biggest shit. Yeah, yeah. Right. Back for something like, hey, nigga, give me one of these motherfuckers. Give me no hat, nigga. I'm the king. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, so the big joke going, okay, give me the small joke. Got that right. <laughs> shit on my mama. So, um, after he, you know, th- this is after that was it actually the scene with him and uh, Otto was talking about, you know, marrying brother to sister, okay. and he was like, hey, nigga, I came here to hunt, not for all this fucking politicking. Right. Otto was like, my bad, my nigga, here. <laughs> my bad. I'm gonna I'm, 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 I'm ease on up out of here, bro. Man, Otto was really on to some shit, man. Like, Otto was really on to some shit. Yeah, I will give Otto good. credit, bro. He, he was foot on the gas. Was in the right play. Lotto keep yeah. his foot on the gas, bro. Otto, Otto has be scheming, but he still be scheming. Like, he schemes with his family, of course, in mind first and foremost. Let me right. Say, of course. That his, part. His family. That part. And his legacy and furthering his line is always at the front of his agenda. But the realm is not necessarily at the back of his agenda either. I right? agree. So, I right. agree. Yeah, he doesn't say just some off the wild, off the cuff shit that's just like Littlefinger. Yeah, Finger exactly. Yeah. He ain't fucking like Peter Basil. Where like yeah. Littlefinger would fucking, like, like uh, Varus always said, Littlefinger would be king of the fucking ashes, you know? Right. right. Otto actually. As long as he was king. Him. Otto wants to see the realm further, but Otto yeah. wants his family line to be a part of the realm being further. And and that's right. why for Otto, getting Damon as far away from the Therese as possible was like one of his top goals. And you can see that. Like he had both the realm and his family almost in equal measure in terms of, of getting them ahead. And Damon just was not conducive to success in his eyes. So yeah, I see right. that. Yes. So, so, so if to, you go uh, back to the beginning of the episode, and I'm, and I'm, I'm gonna let you go in a minute, uh, TK. If you, you go back to the beginning of this episode where they were uh, still in the uh, in the castle, and you see Plato and his brother Hoblart <laughs> sitting there plotting and talking about, you need to get him the name Aegon. You know the real, uh, you know the real heir, and and push Rhaenyra to the to the side, because again, like I said, Hobart being the older brother, he has pushed Plato up the ladder. You know, we we've talked about the Maesters conspiracy and how they kill people and shit, mm-hmm. and and he's like, go ahead and and finish 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 the job, get because that's gonna be our blood, that's gonna be the king, so. Can can we all agree that them high towers got the worst fucking names ever? They do, yeah. man. I, I was gonna say something about that, like Hoblar. God damn. Go yeah, ahead, yeah. Is it Hol- oh yeah, it's Hobart. Oh. I said Hoblart, like Paul Blart, yeah. Because he he he's just yeah. Hobart ain't no better. Hobart high tower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga just that nigga just threw some shit on the wall. Like <laughs> George R. Bar was like, ah, yeah. Hobart. Hobart. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, why not? But I will say this though, in to Carlton's credit, right? I mean, like to Carlton's take about how family legacy is is essential and paramount for for Plato. Y'all would be the same fucking way. Y'all niggas would be the same way. Y'all want to set your family up for generations. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. Man, my grandson gonna be the king, nigga. Goddamn right. That's what the fuck I would want. The fuck. I mean, like Allison was right on point. She was like, "What mother wouldn't want their son to be king?" Yeah. <clears throat> uh, now all of a sudden we just fucking higher than thou. Now all of a sudden, if we were in that same position, we would be doing that same shit. Fuck out of here. What what these rewatches typically show you, whether it's Game of Thrones or House of the Dragon, is typically with this shit, there's no like good or evil side. There's no right or wrong. It's just oh, a great? bunch of different motherfuckers plotting for their own agendas, and you pick the side that you fucking want to rock. No, it, now it's definitely some right and wrong in there mixed in. But for the most I mean, part, I, it is great. <laughs> for the most part, for the most part, it's yeah, great. You know, 
Yeah, like I mean, yeah, the red wedding was clearly wrong. Yeah, <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, but the there's purple one. Wasn't. There you go. The purple one wasn't. Even though the purple yeah. one, I mean, for example, Ned's Ned's beheading. There's a tad bit of gray in it, if we being real. Like I said, like I said, when that shit happened, Joffrey had to fucking assert his his power. Yes, uh, yeah. The Joffrey had to assert his power. That now y'all just got done calling for serious the weakest nigga alive. Yeah. All of a sudden, when somebody fucking tries to commit mutiny on a king and, and gets beheaded, and all of a sudden Joffrey's fucking wrong. That's my point. Ain't no right. Exactly. Just motherfuckers doing what they feel like is right in the situation, and you two mm -hmm. decide that you want to fall under. Yeah. Now everything after that, Joffrey was dead ass wrong, but that one, he was right. He had he made the right call on that. And not everything. The job for you guys from other Don't get less. I ain't gonna go there right now. <laughs> <laughs> we can we can keep it moving. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna. So because uh, a, a lot of this shit going on right now, Joffrey would have never fucking allowed. Uh, we <laughs> we, are, we all know this. So to yeah, what yeah, you right. said earlier, Carlton, uh, you know about Plato, you know having his, his family, you know in the forefront, and he also, you know, got the realm on his mind that next scene we 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 get to somebody who's kind of the opposite uh after after Viserys and Otto had a conversation uh Lionel walks up to him mm -hmm. and uh you know he he says Lionel oh let me guess fuck nigga you about to tell me your strong ass motherfucking son is is the best one you know for near <laughs> And Lionel's like, actually, no, nah, nigga, I don't even fuck with y'all like that. Uh, y'all yeah, some weird ass niggas. Yeah, yeah like, y'all. <laughs> That's what he said. That's what he was looking like. He was like, nah. nah. <laughs> I'm really nasty. Yeah. Hey, my, my boy was like, nah, I just want to keep my little counsel and, and my sons. And you, you niggas is crazy. <laughs> but, you know, he was like, hey, but check this out. I told your ugly ass few years ago you know to marry uh Corliss's daughter Lena. he was like uh Lena he was like nah fuck that so now why don't you betroth Rhaenyra to Lenore and and bring Corliss back into the fold because we broke nigga Facts. we broke <laughs> big game at this nigga once again Facts. and he like hey, hey man you need to link up with these niggas over here with the hair right right <laughs> I keep trying to tell you about these fucking. <laughs> you better link up with them rich niggas, right? <laughs> I gotta tell you about these yeah. fucking players. And you know, because I mean, and, and by the way, if 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 the series would have married Lena, then Corliss would have been doing the same shit out of there. But anyway, continue. I mean, of course, we were no same shit out of there. Continue. But, uh, <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> wild. <laughs> oh, Candace. She That's said, funny. Uh, Lionel, no, 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 no. Lionel looked at like they got. Uh, see, uh, everybody called him Lionel. That's see, that's how, that's his name. Lionel. That's his name. Lionel. Lionel Strong. Lionel. 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 Right. <laughs> so, uh, and once again, the series like nigga, I'm about to go drink, and just right. walk the fuck off. Yeah. Right. Uh, in the cups. Yeah, Staying in the cups. He was in a drunken stupor. Yeah. So literally, nigga. Yeah, it was like Paul Williams on Temptations. Uh, do Do you think? <laughs> do you, <laughs> how do you manage to just shit on so many legends? Like, <laughs> is he, I, mean, I don't know, man. Paul, you know, Paul kind of left us before we saw his full potential. <laughs> 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 That just <laughs> God, God. <laughs> Eric Johnson, you so wrong. Hey. Hey, he said, I don't raise husbands, I raise sneaky links. <laughs> That's wild. But it's 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 true, you know. Uh shit. Well, I mean, would you consider? Never mind. What we'll, we'll, that that comes down the line. Um, uh, yeah, so, both so, of them. So, so that, yeah, that scene knowing what with, we know now, yes, both of them. Yeah, but a sneaky. Little foot ain't fucking nothing. Anyway, um, 
So Man, do you he's think just proud of only fans? Oh, yeah. yeah. And not always direct contact, okay? Don't make me go through a master class on this. No, again. no, we good. We don't we need good. that shit. No, no. <laughs> We've had enough. Yeah. We, 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 we believe we then moving on. So, so, so let me let me ask y'all this. So that little interaction with 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 Lionel, do you think part of that played a part in Viserys deciding to help Damon and them? Oh yeah, hell yeah! Because of the fact that he because 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 of what he said, he has to keep fucking Rhaenyra's uh, future husband alive. Right. That yeah. I, I, that last line is what I was talking about uh, specifically. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, you know, we just got to keep laying on safe. Yep. <laughs> he over there fighting. That is corner son. I mean, he, yeah, he over there fighting and shit. You might want to help them, nigga. <laughs> All the other logical reasons didn't mean anything, and then he said that when he like you, right? Yep. Hey. Why we got all these comments saying them niggas is not no, no more velveteen rabbits. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna sit here. I'm gonna let it roll on. Roll on. Hey, roll on. Sis, listen, sis. Does I guess no what velveteen? Hey, it's not, not about velveteen. Story time. No. <laughs> story well, time. well, guess I'm, what? Like, we have the clip though, right? Oh, let me see. Uh, uh here we go. Right. Oh, oh shit! So, oh man, uh, your grandma and your grandpa have their dentures, and so when they get in bed and they take their dentures out, and they gum on each other. So that's how I'm gonna leave that. So, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing could have prepared me for that. Hey. <laughs> hey, take it away, man. What's your thoughts? I don't, I don't know <laughs> what to do with this information. I got, I'm, I'm partially afraid, but also strangely intrigued. So, <laughs> man. You and CJ. Hey, my boy, do do not pass gold. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Like this shit, the slide actually got to be crazy. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Like I can't knock it, you know. I don't okay. think shame here. CJ would be it, fucking so he, proud right he now. Would be so proud. <laughs> You and CJ will be having the greatest conversation. Oh my God. Like, God niggas will be sharing some war stories, it sounds man. like. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. My nigga is scaroused. Hey, he's scaroused. My nigga is scaroused. <laughs> 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 my thing is, man, the fact that they oh clip was like, they clip was so ready. Like, he just clicked. <laughs> oh, 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 he got him on oh, yeah. Oh, listen, listen, dog. You, you said, have to on. understand. Once, once it dropped and we realized what we had, <laughs> we all knew it. It would never leave us. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> like, we have a few of those. Oh god, damn. this was oh, somebody man. who done seen and heard some shit. That right there, I wouldn't prepare for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was None of us were, brother. None of us. Were. Yeah, brother. That was, that was the whole. Welcome, yeah. um, well, welcome to the struggle, brother. Oh. Jarius, I'm well, just here to educate the tweets of mature, and that's all I do. I, well, consider me educated. <laughs> we were hey, flabbergasted. Listen, man, getting getting throated by no no teeth is some nasty work. <laughs> nasty work. And according uh, to CJ, it can't happen with a young person. <laughs> oh, see, yeah, I, we had to find CJ's reaction, cause nigga. Uh, so so back. He to, broke it down uh, for the people, but anyway. Back back to uh uh these niggas. So <clears throat> so after after we get through with the scene with uh Lionel and them, we go to Ray and and Kristen Cole in the woods and shit, and they they talking, and and they get attacked by a boar. 
and you know she stabbed the nigga and that's that's pretty much <laughs> that nigga said that shit why are you passive about niggas getting attacked by a fucking wild <laughs> yeah boy? he just he just by <laughs> he's a big ass boy yeah, man attacked by a boy bro we saw we saw a nigga get stumped out by a dragon what what the fuck is a pig i mean no look I mean, Drake, I mean, shit, nigga, ask, ask fucking thing. Robert Baratheon that question. Hey, guess what I'm saying? That, mother, hey. that motherfucking pig cleared the shit out of Kristen Cole. Man. <laughs> that that nigga like Ray Lewis. That nigga washed Kristen Cole for the dump. Hey, man, you know the irony in all of this? Leslie hit me up earlier today just talking about random dangerous animal facts, and we did talk about a wild hog. <laughs> and, and, and so... I guess with this is the part of the program where we go off, we veer off again. Dude, a okay. wild hog is almost impossible to kill. Yes. Facts. I just want that to be clear. Facts. You can't yeah. even shoot them in the fucking head. You got to the shoot them from the fact. side. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nah. That wild hog was a, was a pretty big threat. Now, he wasn't a dragon. Come on now. Yeah. But Puma had some hands. He was ready yeah. for whatever. Kristen, if yes. Kristen Cole had been one step to the left, he he might have a Robert Baratheon story. Yeah, yeah. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> That's clear. Ask fucking ask ask Bobby B about that goddamn wild boy. Man, Shit. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> That's well, the name. <laughs> <that's laughs> <that's laughs> <that's laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Say that shit, Emily. That Only. nigga Robert Baratheon was in the bed stinking. Leave you stinking, nigga. What the fuck you stinking? <laughs> well, a wild boar hey. really set forth Game of Thrones, the original series. Like, oh God. him, yeah, him took, doing it. Man, and he was all also, turned around he was also fucked over by Led Cell. Let's not forget that part. Yeah, well, but like you, need, you, need the, you need the wild boy to set the foundation. Like, they knew what to use. Like, hey, wow, boy, this shit gonna get cracky. And it oh, did. Oh, God. That motherfucker did they ever cook that to, nigga? Uh, that nigga cleared Kristen Cole and turned around to Rhaenyra ass like, reverse bacon, bitch. <laughs> 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 that guy, that guy Ooh, reverse bacon, oh, shit. That motherfucker yeah. Rhaenyra, boy, she went, she, she, like, she went to OJ mode quick. I mean, allegedly. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> The juice is no longer loose, man. Let's just let it rest. Are you right, man? He's no longer loose, but wherever he is, I guarantee you he's cut. I just want to take a moment. Oh my god. Whoever he's made still, he's still <laughs> whoever made the heavenly t-shirt pick with a Bronco being chased by a fleet of police oh vehicles, god. you can go to hell, man. I didn't need to laugh that. I didn't need to laugh that hard, man. I just seen this man die, and y'all got the fleet vehicles up in the sky. With wings, they put wings on the fucking Bronco. Oh my god, bro! God damn, boy! Fucking one way for a nigga to go, man. Nigga had to get up there somehow. <laughs> man, I, man, like I tell you what, boy, OJ, OJ stay cutting up. <laughs> Somebody said Johnny Cocker was somewhere saying, "I know that ain't who I think it is." I'm not. You know what? Be serious about nothing. Hey, I'm not. I'm not gonna even take a stab at that bullshit, Lance. That nigga said that shit and looked up at this guy, dog. Oh my god! Oh man, y'all niggas is stupid. Man, it's wild to do this shit and then run around like I just hope they catch the real killer. (laughs) Then he said he was like, I just, I just wonder sometimes. If he's around me, motherfucker, what? <laughs> yeah, I, wa- I wonder, buddy. <laughs> it's about like, about CTE. My ass. That nigga, ain't, that nigga, that nigga ain't had no CTE. CJ like twenty one. Jose the killer is closer than you think, brother. <laughs> CJ in the comments said, "Hell for OJ is a room full of gloves that fit." <laughs> God, damn. Ah! Eric Johnson said, hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, damn. Oh my God. Woo! He'll get on Twitter with some brave shit, man. I, it really feel like, too, it like OJ. It feel like OJ dying of cancer was like equivalent to like the bricks and shit falling and killing Cersei and Jamie. Like it was. Exactly. Yeah, it, it was like. <laughs> 
Like, nah, it didn't have I enough like, thump. Like it didn't have enough razzle dazzle on it. It was like anticlimactic, if you will. Nigga was supposed to be, on, nigga was supposed to yeah. be on like a private jet in the shape of a fucking flying Bronco, and that bitch was supposed to crash in <laughs> Bermuda or some shit. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. But, or you know. an house fire or something. Something painful. Man. An actual animal Bronco was supposed to take him out of here. A, a nigga. Yes. I mean, but that's the same. That's the same shit as like fucking Edi I mean, This nigga died like just like twenty years later after the fucking party. after his genocide shit, just peacefully in his sleep. Man, don't sit surrounded right. by with those family. who loved him. Family. Yeah, with family, with family. This nigga was like, <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm surprised we hadn't got the obligatory. He got his life right with God before he got home. Right. <laughs> 30 seconds before. You, you niggas got this a lot any, of nerve going to comfort this nigga. If it's any time to not be an atheist, is that moment. When you got about 30 seconds left, you're like, mm, God, forgive me. <laughs> like, uh, like, like, <laughs> like, imagine you, like, <laughs> like, fucking, like, imagine you died, or like, right before you died, both of your eyes closed, you said, like, God, forgive me. You put water on, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Shit. Shit. Wow. Um, okay, what were we talking about? Yeah, like no doubt, cancer is painful. We're just saying, like, not yeah. enough of what he did. Uh, <laughs> uh, Allegedly. Not, yeah. not trying to downplay cancer here. Yeah, right. Sorry. Cancer zero percent approval rating over here. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so uh, what came next was uh <laughs> the Saris in the woods. Is that where we are? So uh ye- so he we, we got oh, Viserys, oh, no, the bonfire. The Viserys bonfire. And Allison, yeah, Viserys and Allison talking. And, uh, you know, the liquor really started talking for him. Yeah. <laughs> you know. This nigga talking about he a dreamer. Yeah. <laughs> My nigga, shut your ass. I was saying, like, let me get the fucking dreams right, you fucking dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody took the cup away. They just, they just let him keep going. He talked about some fucking, some, like, most of the Dragon Riders. Nigga, you did the... Why don't you be both? How about that, goddammit? Shit. Is that so hard? You only have a dream once every fucking 10 years. You don't even get the fucking dreams right. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Fucking worst yeah. so, Emily. I, so yeah, he, he was <laughs> he was uh yeah, he was on some other shit, man. Them cups was, was they was talking loud for him. You know, she looking like what? <laughs> like, Samantha's comment that told I'm serious no Dr. King. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Why is this so funny? <laughs> <laughs> oh thing strong about the serious. This is literally <laughs> <laughs> so, so does that make Allison not Coretta? Oh, she did. She was my damn Coretta. Man, mm. she's I, I scandalous, don't... though. Listen, uh, she's definitely not Coretta. Just like that that white woman that uh, Kang tried to make. I was waiting to talk no. about Jonathan Majors. I knew he was going to come up on this call at some point. Mm-hmm. It's a oh, Twitter it... account. That I'm convinced that is Jonathan Majors trying to take up for himself in the midst of all these jokes. <laughs> I came across it and I said something. He was trying to go back and forth. And I'm like, you are fucking Jonathan Majors. And I want to prove it and I got to figure out how. But it was definitely Jonathan Majors. Don't because somebody it. was like, it was a dude, it was a dude wearing something random. And they was like, this is a British Jonathan Majors variant. And he retweeted it and he was like, we really got to stop the Jonathan Majors jokes. And I said, that's more of a Kang the Conqueror joke than a Jonathan Majors joke. And he said, go away. And I'm like, wait a minute. This nigga got a W account. Wait a they got the so burn. That, that, that nigga burn. came in the ring. Right. He definitely that, came in the ring. Listen, listen and, you got to do something. So I go to the profile, and it's full of, like, protect Jonathan Majors tweets. And I'm like, nobody cares this much about this nigga. <laughs> Cause yeah, if y'all don't, if black people don't chase and don't care about that nigga, don't nobody care about that. 
Oh so what I'm God. saying is, this I has mean, to be a burn. We kind of, kind of, yeah, like we kind of did a little something, but you know, there's a gray I mean, area. Came and went. Yeah, yeah. We I didn't agree. We saw that video. I it was kind of like agree. it's fucked up that that the shit is happening because he ran mm-hmm. away, but you shouldn't have been with the white. Exactly. That's what we all in. Yes, <laughs> we are all in agreement. So you know. Get, yeah, I, like, but y'all hear snow buddy chasing my brother, you know. <laughs> getting in <laughs> trouble, getting in trouble. Yeah, for I got to drop somewhere. He, he did too good of a job. What you got? Exactly. He did too good of a job getting away from her, and he got in trouble for it. But <laughs> she had the complexion for the collection. <laughs> of course, he was gonna get in trouble. Yeah, it's his own yeah. fault. And then Megan <laughs> Good, that's who I'm tired of. I'm not gonna talk about it. Mm. Hey, uh, I, that's just weird. Um, I love making. Don't do that. Yeah, we all love making good until she starts doing unintelligent things. <laughs> <laughs> so, so speaking I support of all intelligent and or unintelligent actions by making good. Speaking of un- <laughs> unintelligent, uh, especially Biker unintelligent. <laughs> Let's talk about biker boys. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not. <laughs> so uh we back. I watched it all the way Refocus. Refocus. Get them together, Queen oh. Mother. They bullshit. I know. Uh so we back in the woods. Mm-hmm. Uh this weak ass hunt, if you want to call it a hunt. Man, them uh, niggas been eating the whole time and like four niggas <laughs> went and <found> goddamn deer. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, seeing this scene, all I can say was, I'm saying to myself, Bobby B would never. Like he would get out there. I mean, he, he got killed, but still, he would. He would, but he also wouldn't make it back. <laughs> <laughs> we know historically, he wouldn't make it back. Bobby B would never. <laughs> Bobby B would never, all right. Bobby drunk ass would have been out there, man. <laughs> but, but, but but that's it. That's that that scene also shows again how weak this nigga is, because he stabbed the 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 heart, and dude's like, hey, hey, my nigga, hey, so, little bit to the left, little to the left, my yeah. <laughs> I watched this scene in disgust. I was right so there, pissed man. off, man. Right <laughs> and then once it's dead, golf clap, golf clap. That's the part hey, that made me mad. But said now nah, the part that yeah. me was when he actually did hit him with the, the killing strike, the nigga had to lean into it a little bit. You just stabbed it. Now you gonna lean and put all your weight in this shit. That nigga was that nigga was tired, bro. That nigga was tired as fuck. <laughs> Two <laughs> strikes. That nigga was tired, dog. Two fucking strikes, and that nigga was done. He was blowed. Listen, nigga, I'm 39 now. After after a whole day and night of drinking, my ass be tired too. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> mind you, to a stag that like, was tied up. Like, nigga, I'm useless. Right. <laughs> it was tied up. Like it was, it was, you know, it was restrained. Amazing job. It, it was. Really good. Good. It was with what? Uh, let's start see. <laughs> it was, we couldn't. I can't. I can't understand you. <laughs> wow! Wow! <Wipe out. laughs> <laughs> Talking that change, change, change. Wow! 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 Oh, they've said much worse. It matters <laughs> not. Yeah, I was about to say, nigga. That's, the, that's light. This is, the, this is the tip of the Titanic iceberg right here. <laughs> Courtney, Courtney said that that stag was re- restrained like her voice. <laughs> Damn, Courtney. Dang, Courtney. Dang, Courtney. Come on, I've not seen that thumbnail before. Damn, Courtney fucking. Dang. <laughs> Jesus. Hey. What'd you say, bro? Yeah, I, I, ain't say nothing, brother. I ain't say nothing. I was no. <laughs> hey, I'll with you. Uh, Don't let shine now, Valerian. I'm just drinking my water. <laughs> oh, <my> God damn. <laughs> damn. So, so, um. <laughs> damn. 
Man, shit, like, listen. I mean, he, he could have laid on his back. She looked like a rider. Hey, Samantha said you and Pa must have turned up real bad this weekend. No, no. My daughter had prom. <laughs> Samantha said IT got knocked your vocal cord sideways. <laughs> Damn. She wild for that shit. <laughs> you ought to be shamed, Samantha. God damn. You ought to be Samantha. shamed. I'm wow. Man, they coming for you. That's crazy. That's wow. Crazy. Mm. Hey. So, uh, hey. Hey. <laughs> Not with so so let, let me get let me get back to it. Okay. We we got a few more to go. <clears throat> um <laughs> so you know. After that scene, we see Ray and Cole again, and they see the white stag. And, uh, you know, the significance of that shit was, you know, according to legend, I guess, uh, oh, oh, they, what they were saying earlier about, Otto was saying about the stag and blessings and all this other shit. Yeah, prophecy, the white yeah. stag used to be the ruler of the yeah. kingwood back in the day. The, the, the white stag like, chooses you to be, you know, that shit. It was so yeah. damn hard to find that white mm-hmm. stag. They just sell them. They just said, "Fuck it, man. Let's go home." <laughs> right. Yeah, shit. It, this, yeah. hey, it ain't white, but this nigga big too, King. Hey, <laughs> 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 like, he big. Stop this nigga. Like, we got you, King. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. So we couldn't find that white stag. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't find him. I swear to God, we saw, him, but we hey, couldn't find him. That goddamn white stag wasn't bullshit, though. No. That nigga went up there and looked at uh, Rainier and Kristen. Was like, man, I'm out. These niggas. <laughs> These niggas out here stabbing niggas, dog. <laughs> <laughs> niggas said, I ain't talking about shit. My boy pulled up and was like, son, nope. <laughs> Let me turn right the fuck on around. Turn hey, right on around. Kristen pulled that sword out. Rainier was like, no. The stag was like, you ain't even got to tell him. <laughs> you ain't got to say shit, my boy. <laughs> Man. It'd have been some crazy shit. She the guy that rolled into camp on that motherfucker. Man, oh my that's God. what I'm talking about. What what would have been her fate had she rolled into the camp with the white stag? Then no one could have denied her being the heir apparent because she brought it in. Otto would have found it. Otto would have found a fucking way. That nigga would have said it ain't white enough. Goddamn it, <laughs> some off white. That would, that stag was mulatto. Right. Oh. <laughs> I don't it was more. It was, was cream. It was off white. Like his you. his dad was one quarter black, <laughs> sir. So. You don't count. One drop rule. I don't. I don't would have found. Oh, him. not the one drop rule. Shit. He's Valerian like so. <laughs> no, no, my king. Hey, Ray, Ray. 4911 said this rewatch really highlights how ain't shit crispy Cole really is. He saw the white stag encounter with Ray Ray and still went against her claim. Bitch ass nigga. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was Damn. incendiary. <laughs> True words have never been spoken. God, God, yeah, look, look, and man, tonight's SOT award man. goes to Valerian for using the word incendiary. I'll be doing some shit. My, my, <laughs> hey, like my nigga will hit you. He, he be killing me. He'll hit you with keep God in your life, fuck nigga. Then I drop a five syllable word next. <laughs> <laughs> fuck nigga. <laughs> you gotta be versatile. <laughs> Shit. You diversify your bonds, nigga. <laughs> so, uh, that will change something. So, after we see the white stag. Ray and Cole, they show back up in the camp and she covered in blood. And and the first thing I noticed, Harlem was like, shit, I fucked that. Hell yeah, yeah, that nigga was like, oh, <laughs> shit. Like, that hey, shit. And then what's I know, it? yeah. They, they some fucking letters to turn his gay ass nose. Right. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Harwin is like, damn, that's my number one right there. Man, I'm gonna get that. Mm-hmm. Hey. Yep. And so, he did. And did. I'm glad. I'm glad they at least brought the goddamn pig back home. Yeah, right. Exactly. He's had some fucking good meat. Yeah. They need Does to anybody? No money. Wow, May sir, that's Wait, cold. He said she was more beat no. up than Cersei's vocal cords. 
Come on, man. Damn. Damn, Damn, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry you got to suck through this. That's tough. I will. Oh, um, bro, that's, that's, like, that's like the same joke again. You know, that's <laughs> just in different verbiage. So could it be argued that Rhaenyra didn't kill the White Stag as another act of defiance in a way? Because she knew how, um, how much the king wanted that, even though he wanted to kill. Like, could that be another thing? She like, nah, fuck that nigga. I'm bringing back a boy. I don't, I don't. I think in that moment for her it was just more about knowing. Like, yeah, the whole time these niggas. Knowing I could have. This white stag. This motherfucker yeah. chose me basically. Right, I'm exactly. I'm the one. I'm mm-hmm. looking at it. I see the stag. The stag see me. I don't need to. I think it was like just the symbolism of the whole shit. Mm-hmm. Hence the reason why she agreed to go ahead and get married because I think she was like, okay, yeah, like this shit is really my I'm responsibility yep. to be. I was chosen. To be the heir. Yeah, right. Yeah. No. Dumbass. <laughs> uh, so we also see Otto, excuse me, Plato. He's talking to Allison, and you know he's on replacing Renera, and. You know, this is when Allison was wholesome and decent. You know, she was resisting everything her daddy was saying, uh, which is which is crazy that I'm saying she was wholesome and decent, considering she was a bust down for Jaharis and Viserys. Uh, she but she's, that. I mean, hey, man, you know, like she was she thrusting. Was being out. She was being pimped out by her daddy. Yeah, she was oh, thrusting into that road, man. What, 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 Come on, man, she huh? was thrusting into that road. What did you just say? What's that? What did you just say? Right. <laughs> I can't understand you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Liz I was just playing. Was... What now? You said she was a bust down for Jaharis. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she was a bust down for Jaharis. Yeah, too. That wasn't that, covered that, in the show. Same, but same, was... same, same book that she popped up with uh, after Queen Anna died to, to read to Viserys was the book that she used to read to. King Jaharis. Yeah. 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 Because remind you, Allison is older in the book. I remember yeah. y'all saying yeah. that last week. So, yeah, she got she got worms. She's yeah. been around for a minute. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh she's been around so, a lot. So uh, you know, what he's saying is basically rebellion. Cause this is what he's saying is exactly what Viserys was saying to uh Tylen uh, Lannister. Oh no, Jason, I'm sorry. Uh about niggas talking about replacing Rainier and all this other shit. But mm-hmm. you know. So we leave there. And we got Viserys and Allison talking. And uh Vayman sends a letter for aid. And uh Allison pretty much talked to him into helping. You know, adding on to what uh Lionel said. Cause she basically said, uh you know, would the realm be better without the crab feeder and shit? Mm-hmm. And you know, she she's using her 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 womanly charms on on that sorry ass nigga. Uh, <laughs> God damn! <laughs> you just can't give him some advice. <laughs> I, As a wife, but listen, everybody, but listen, everybody gives this nigga advice, and he really don't listen to nobody. But he, no, but he listen, well, no, he, he listens listen to, to everybody. That's his fucking. That's his and, uh, right that's there. His, that's right weakness. fucking there. You listen to every you won't pick a definitive side. Right. You listening to everybody and being pulled in every fucking direction. Exactly. What Lester just fucking said. No. Listen to my people. Um so after that, you got the series of Rhaenyra, they talking, and she on his ass. Uh, you know, he told her to make her own marriage. And my boy admitted that he he for, for a brief moment he thought about replacing her ass. Um, and he, but he was like, "I put, I put this on your your dead mama, that you straight now. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna leave you to how it is." <laughs> that put go, that on, on that girl mama is wild, man. But, but that's what I'm your saying. Dead mama, lie on your dead mama. My my nigga said, "I put that on on your dead mama, that you you straight now. Don't even worry about it." <laughs> she was not um, straight. So, <laughs> she should want to fuck with. <laughs> so, after that, we we get to 
pretty much the last scene. We had the stepstones and and <laughs> Vayman already on some shit. <laughs> Vayman on that Vayman shit. Now that's a goddamn hater. Y'all talking about fucking auto, nigga. Ain't no, no hate, no, no hate of hate like fucking Vayman. Vayman, <laughs> man, I know. Vayman and nigga at the family reunion that everybody cuts the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, everybody. everybody by the by the end of the day, Vayman the guy cussed out by every fucking body. <laughs> All the aunties, the fucking a couple of brothers. Even the, kid, the kids then done let Vayman have it. Get your right. bitch ass out hey. here, Vayman. <laughs> hey, my, my boy hating this shit. And Leno was like, nigga, what, what you gonna do besides being the master of complaints? That was my favorite line bar, in the whole episode. That was a bar, nigga. Nigga, see, I was thinking you up here doing crying and shit, nigga. Shut hey, the fuck up. Hey, did we ask Leno about that shit? We did. I think we, nigga had deal, to. Man. we had to. Yeah, we had to. We got to go back to that. Leslie, do you recall? Mm-hmm. No, I wasn't fanboying with Theo. I was fanboying with uh with, with um. Niggas <laughs> like, was like, this was calling. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. I held hey, my hey. I held my composure with Theo. Right? <laughs> hey, hey, Carlton. When when Unc was on, you can see his feet in the back. Little <laughs> yeah, feet up behind his head. I couldn't even fucking. T- I think I I think I asked Uncle Carlton like one question, nigga. I couldn't even talk. I was just. <laughs> Oh man! Samantha yeah. said, "When he coming back? We hope real soon. We need him real all soon. <laughs> so we gotta get him back." So, uh, so then, uh, after you know, Leno is laying down the plan real quick of what they could do, and uh, we get to the, my favorite scene of of the uh, episode. Mm-hmm. Prince Damon. Oh, she got clips. His grace, Viserys Targaryen. First of his name, King of the Andals, the Roynar, and the first man. Lord hey, look at it, Dennis. Kingdoms and protector of the realm. <laughs> I think Damon always would be all up his ass. I think Damon oh, always right would be this dude ass, no matter what this letter says. You're fighting the village. Oh, shit. Oh, look my God. Hand. Look at that hand. Look at that hand, girl. <laughs> that nigga said trash as fuck. Boy, <laughs> <laughs> well, I beat your goddamn ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, niggas ain't like that shit, but you see, ain't there niggas step up to try him. Nah, nah. Facts. Nah, nah. Ain't there niggas step up to try him. They got it, nigga. I, I want to know what that letter said. <laughs> it's like, beating is why they started. You know, like, you was, you know, like Viserys was reading it, or you heard Viserys. Yeah, that, was, yeah, that was the letter that yeah. he was reading mm-hmm. when he was on yeah. the Right, but, but it had, like, my nigga just, you know. <laughs> you said, your fight skills <laughs> trash as fuck. This trash is bad. Fuck. It is essentially what he, he said. Viserys, like, man, he, he basically told David, look, we all know you a fucker. You end over your head. We gonna ride out, and help you out with this little fuck nigga that you can't keep. Now keep God in your life, fuck nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. If a serious would have pissed grace. him off, if a serious would have pissed him off a couple years earlier, this shit would have been over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, he beat that dude like that for no fucking reason. But I, I still mean, I, like, but but I still don't understand like the the mechanisms behind how the fuck they they could escape dragon fire and how. They're stuck in a cave and without any sort of ability, I'm assuming the resources or food or anything, they got them all just locked and trapped into this fucking cave. How in the fuck are they not able to, I don't know, wait it out? Like, what's going on? How are these motherfuckers behind in this cave for fucking two years or however long they were in that bitch? A lot of these caves have like hidden. Or like six months. Know, yeah. I haven't I haven't read the book, but some caves have like hidden entrances and exits. So but you would think they would have discovered them, like I mean, in, in yeah. all this time, like yeah. and on top of that, to have those many men in that cave and yeah. like, yeah, that shit. Like always. the miners in Chile. And how Caraxes yeah. long neck ass can't just go over that motherfucker and just breathe fire, like so literally. That's what I was thinking. 
I was thinking just seeing the dragon down and he just go to different cave holes and start more fire. I think I think though the well, I guess what they tried to show with that was at the beginning of the episode when Damon yeah. was on some I'ma just lay in the dragon and burn you nigga. Oh, yeah, that's right. The, they could line up and shoot yeah. arrows and they kind of it didn't threaten the dragon, yeah. but it did threaten yeah. Damon who was riding the dragon. There and that's go. always like I think I forgot which book. I guess it was the the book for this series where they talk about you know you don't try to kill the dragon, you kill the dragon rider. You kill the rider, yeah. So, so that makes sense. So yeah. I would assume that's the only kind of logic in that. And I guess as far as I don't know, I would assume them niggas had some kind of supplies and shit in them fucking caves because like they were pirates, so they was cutting off all. Yeah, the they other were ships. they were resourceful. Yeah, mm. they were cutting yeah. off all the other ships from you know getting to whatever fucking destination. So they were they were going to. So I don't know, maybe they was. Taking the I mean, shit off the ships and storing them in caves or some shit. Yeah, yeah. Somebody that come and made that point. They was, you know, they fucked that's all too the much logic, shit up. That's too much logic for this universe, though. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. I but, mean, uh, yeah. too much logical <laughs> shit for this world. You know, because I mean, in order to go to battle, you need fucking resources. Man. Right. That's right. It. You gotta have resources. Gotta I, feed these. I mean, but they were backed by the Triarchy too. So, like the whole thing, yeah. they were backed by you know a powerful entity in the, the Tri City. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe with some fucking some um, magical some, supplies. Some, yeah, exactly. niggas was getting care packages, man. Damn, some fucking hole that uh, they definitely had federal aid coming to care packages <laughs> dropping out. <of> the sky. <laughs> Modern warfare too, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I did like the strategy they used. Uh, like, okay, now Damon going and uh, by himself and, and surviving all that shit. Yeah, you can, whatever. The strategy of having another dragon kill the archers while the soldiers were uh, were laying siege to the crab feeder and all his men, I like that strategy. Like, that made yeah. sense. And, and it is a two, possibly a two dragon job, even though they got it done with one dragon, like it made sense for them to take that approach. Mm. <clears throat> Tiffany in the comments said, plus they had all the crab legs they could eat. <laughs> 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 Not really lost it. <laughs> Fire this shit up. This shit, like, like, uh, like, <laughs> they they don't eat all this bitch getting a cheddar bay biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> Like like they were eating like niggas were eating red lobster in the in the late nineties. <laughs> oh that was hot. So I used to be the Easter, I used to be an Easter uh, <laughs> dinner right there. Like like the whole the whole strategy was cool, you know. Uh, the, the the whole fight scene and the setup was cool, but you know the, you the, know, the you, was you leave down. a lot in disbelief. Yeah, like no error. I mean, literally didn't get struck by anything until, except like a little leg wound and all that shit. I mean. Dragon he, got, in, he, he, he took three know, arrows. Like, he did take three arrows. He should have yeah, died. He put none in the fucking top of his head or something. I don't fucking yeah, know. Like, yeah, hey, man, <laughs> that shit. nigga did run through that shit like goddamn Christian McCaffrey. Now they, uh, he that knew nigga, to take the fuck off. That, he was not was running, running slow. Nigga All made right. a 4 2 with a sword. Also, didn't the crab feeder nigga have uh, like grayscale? I think so. I mean, if Damon touches it, it's literally his organs. Damon is literally covered in his blood, and this nigga got grayscale. But he he had had crab see, you applying logic and shit, nigga. That shit was badass for him to go in there. Tell, nigga, tell name. Jordan, nigga. Tell, tell, tell my boy Jordan. Okay, this nigga got. I mean, grayscale is supposed to be. Don't let him touch you. We I know understand. the truth. I understand. Fuck that. This nigga got vision. like and this nigga had a, a Magic Johnson orgy in <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this, this. Oh yeah. shit. What Magic say? I'm not gonna be there. <laughs> <laughs> As <laughs> time goes on, that moment gets wilder and wilder when you consider everything that transpired. I don't know who comes to work tomorrow, but it ain't me. Won't be me. <laughs> you on the wrong row, you geek TV. You on the wrong row. <laughs> oh my God. He's situated between two nigga shits. <laughs> <laughs> so Ooh, listen, uh, yeah. So on behalf of everybody, we appreciate y'all. <laughs> <laughs>
for tuning in. Yeah, we, we we might not make season two. <laughs> it's, it's been real, nigga. We might not make season one, episode four. <laughs> would you say? Would you say, let's start, see, I can't understand you. Shit. <laughs> would you say? I'm sorry, man. That was my last one. You, hey, please. man, y'all niggas was all famous ass, but ain't nobody talk about fame and getting in the field like a real nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he did something. <laughs> he did something. Oh, no. So, 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 Leslie, thank you, you Bayman, for carrying your weight. Nigga. You got, you got a lot of uh, people talking about. No, uh, like Shereen's uh, great scale was carried, though. We like we know this to be true. George great scale was not carried. It was. You know what? <sighs> I guess she got burned like magic too. <laughs> Yeah, so uh yeah. <laughs> hey uh that's about it. Thanks thanks for coming out. Try. God bless. Good night. Yeah. Nigga, you put the fucking picture Shireen up there talking about <laughs> you. I do. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Oh my god bless. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. So you talking about my picture, not what this nigga said? No, 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 nigga. The only reason why I said that was because of your fucking picture. I was chilling. I was done. I was done. I was done. Nah, nigga, nigga, say, man, Shireen got killed in grayscale. Nigga say she did. Ashes, nigga. The nigga gonna agree, dog. The nigga agree with it. Talking, yeah, she did. Let me try to make an end comment made. about <laughs> let, let me try to make an end comment about the scene with, with Damon. So after you know he beat the ever loving shit out of the, that messenger. And they were going through strategies, you know, and Damon was going to be the sacrificial lamb. And he went up there. He was like, I'm going to, if I'm going to die, I'm going to take as many of these motherfuckers as I can. <laughs> and he tried and tried and tried and, and did. Um, but there was something in him that resolved to just get it done so that the rest of the people could come and, you know, wipe them out and everything. But he was, he, he was bound and determined to get the crab feeder. That, that was his sole goal. I'm going to live long enough to get to the crab feeder. I might die, but I'm going to get to the crab feeder. And that was his sole uno goal that he had to, that that's what he had to do. And that's what he did. And he survived, even though he took what two, three arrows. He, you know, he was yeah, like, I, I do agree. I feel like it was a last stand for him. And he was like, Look, if I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go out doing something or accomplishing what I set out to do and prove everybody wrong about me. And so I appreciated that. I didn't even think about that. Uh, like, as a, as a, if I'm going out, I'm going out swinging type moment. So, yeah, that's a great point. But Eric Johnson, you ain't shit for that comment talking about the gray scale. Right. Didn't, didn't make her play retarded. Them. I'm trying, I'm trying to get it back. I'm trying, I'm trying to get it back. Queen Mother, you did a great job making your point. I just watched it. I just saw somebody say, uh, like so, someone needs to talk about snipping Shereen's ashes. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, wow, man. Oh my god. Yeah, boy. Listen, listen. Like, like Whitney loves that comment. Yeah. That motherfucker, that motherfucker uh, that he could for his daughter. And when he came down to it, he said, fuck it. And said I have so fire, man. That shit crazy. Whitney loves. And still lost on top of that. And still fucking lost.
And it was like a four old series loss. It wasn't even close. Like they got their ass kicked. He killed his niggas, daughter. Thing. Niggas, niggas talk about Otto being a bad father. All he did was get his daughter married to the king. He ain't burned his daughter at the stake. <sighs> he didn't. And everybody saw him. <laughs> <laughs> Stop showing this goddamn picture, man. I bet, I bet you ain't. TK. It, it works. It works. <laughs> Unlike your vocal cord, it works. Oh. <laughs> you put that picture up again, I'm calling Thanos, man. This is it. This is it now. Let's start over again. Uh, or Yanos. <laughs> Yanos. <laughs> Yano Slint. Yano was Gusto. What you say? We, we call that nigga uh, Valeria. You call that nigga Yano Slint. Yano for Gusto. Gusto. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Fuck y'all. Larry Yarns. Yano Slint. That is wild, bro. <laughs> Y'all are the worst sweet summer children. Y'all are just. Mm, mm. Yeah, was a victim of the snap. <laughs> God damn, that is, that is wild. Makes it funny for that shit. Nigga said Shereen the victim of the snap. <laughs> shit. <laughs> God damn. I don't know. The snap would have been quicker. Right. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, man. So listen. Um, so. Next week, we got um. If we be here, it, yeah, if we here. We got, <laughs> we got. We, we, still, we still got a fucking show. <laughs> so, so episode specific. number four. Uh, you know, uh, we getting closer to the new season. Looking forward to that. If we still here, if not, then you know, it was fun. But uh, hey, before we slide out of here, uh, Jarius, won't you give everybody a rundown again where they can find you? <laughs> and all of that. Um, you can find me on Twitter at UGTV. On YouTube is U Dash TV. But let me be clear: you gonna see a couple Caucasians come up. It's not them. All right, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga said, "Keep looking until you see a nigga." Keep looking, man, because them other niggas, I don't know what the fuck they doing. But look for me. Um, and lastly, you can find me on Facebook at the Unapologetic Geek. Also, thank you all for having me, man. I gotta come back and do this again, y'all. Yeah. this was this was a ton of fun. I appreciate yeah, like it. If y'all, like y'all, if y'all are nerds, like I know all y'all are. This nigga is uh, this nigga is on his shit. I mean, he he's a nerd through and through. Well, I appreciate that. And he really does like break shit down at a level to where you know he makes these videos now. This motherfucker is like doing it big. So y'all follow. Him. Yeah, one nerd to another. Oh, uh, so it, so, uh, Queen Mother, do you have any quick announcements? Yes, just, just two quick things. So. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. and make sure to turn the Orient down. Well, you know, you know, so she hey, hears something. Hey, I don't want to get cussed out again. Turn the motherfucking Man. music down, fuck niggas. Ooh, geez, niggas. I'm gonna just mosey on out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and this is why we can't have nice things, sweet summer children. So these two quick announcements. Actually, three. So hmm. the finale for Shogun, episode 10, is coming on this week. Episode 10, Shogun will be ending. Um, in case you did not know, Lena Headey, who plays Cersei on the original Game of Thrones, has a sci-fi series out called Beacon 23. It just started its second season. Mm. And the third bit of information, which is most important, yesterday was 420. So mm. puff puff pass, children. Hey. Oh Lord. Those are this week's announcements. Thank you, Pass a member and friends. Now that's not now. See, like if they start doing that at church, I shit, I go back. Let me tell you something. <laughs> that chair behind her. Yeah, I know that chair to see some good sleep, boy. <laughs> that chair to see some good sleep, nigga. Yeah, bro. That chair. I'll put a pick on that. 
after we gonna lift him up on high after Sunday dinner. <laughs> <scene. laughs> So, uh, oh, it was Snoop Ms. birthday. Miss Parker, Miss Parker. Oh, oh, God. Damn, passion. Somebody said you were smoking Sheree. God, God, God damn. damn. We got to get out of here. Man. Jesus Christ. So listen, on, on, uh, with all of that being said, uh, on behalf of, of everybody here, Queen He's Mo, smoking the shit out of Sheree. So <laughs> is. Sheree Miss Cersei. <laughs> Pack. I recycle. That nigga smoking Shireen and Marine. That's the Marine pack. <laughs> That's when goddamn Cersei burned up the fleet. This brother got my rheumatism acting up. Your what? My rheumatism. <laughs> You're not spinning right quick. I didn't go out there, Dad. Yeah, I said that shit. You can't just say this shit to you. And they say you what? <laughs> y'all know what rheumatism is? That's an old one. Maybe I should have oh. said side because y'all might have understood that word better. But anyway, <laughs> young Joyce got great skill. <laughs> Listen, Thank you, Nathan. Listen, I, I, you know what? I, I need this motherfucker. <laughs> so anyway, hey, look, we appreciate y'all for coming out, uh, and we look forward oh, to seeing yeah. y'all next Boy. week. Oh, y'all niggas were a trip today. <laughs> y'all niggas were a trip. Y'all niggas.